Peace and power to everyone. It is the third day of the week. Yay! Um, I just came here to share. I have come or come into a place of having a distaste, or I say had a distaste for sharing because it just seems like it's not helping. Um, now that I'm studying the language with the fabulous four, including myself, we're the fab four, everybody. Um, I'm in a better place, I should say. So I'm going to start back um, working during the day and sharing during the day. That way I'll be able to push out more information. I'm not going to say every day, but a study session always leads down the rabbit hole. So um, that's that. The reason why I'm not on a camera is because for one, I don't want to be a distraction. I'm always doing a lot in the background. Um, and that's neither here nor there. The second reason, it's the truest reason. Which is I'm touching up my hair. And I don't want you all <laughs> to see me with my hands up in the air like retwisting my hair. There's a lot going on. So um, that's the reason for that. Now, we were studying last night. And we're going to talk about the Bible a little. <sighs> this remnant, honey. When I say you ask for something from the Creator, if you, you ask in all heartness, Creator, I want more wisdom, He's going to send exactly that. So, fast forward, I received emails from this young lady, the remnant, and she was just all gun home about joining up. Now, needless to say, <laughs> I wasn't trying to, but by the end of our conversation, um, the cloud had been lowered. And it's because of who I am. I'm just a realist. I've never had a lot of people around me because um, a lot of people can't take realness. You know, it's all or nothing for me. And she decided, hey, well, let's work on it. So, fast forward to now. We're studying the language. And last night we got into a story about Adawaama, which is Adam and Eve, the female um, male energy that cannot be separated. There's no Adam and Eve. The name has always been Awa, Ata. Wa Ama or Ada Wa Ama. And the reason why it's either or is because in our language, the T and the D are interchangeable. That's just a little tip for y'all. Um, we're learning, we're pushing forward in this thing, and I like it because the more I repeat it, the more I use it, the more it comes back to me. So we're talking about um, Adam and Adam, why I'm a, their first two children. And it just made me think about the um, book of Genesis in a whole nother light. Because I promised reading it the first time outside of her book, the second, third, fourth, fifth. Yes, I was getting revelation, but not this amount of revelation. Thank you to Sister Joyce. Um, She broke it out for me last night that... Adawaama, um, their first, the twins, were, they had no color. They were albinoids. And how um, we found this out was because when Seth was born, the third child, then Ada said, now I have a child in my image. And I don't know what Bible version. Y'all read, um... Look at y'all, I have mine out, a portion 
of it. Um, and I've been had this out of my desk. No plans of <laughs> sharing with y'all. Not because of being cheeky, but because there's a lot of stuff on my desk. There's always a lot of stuff on here. It's just so messy. I don't even know how this stuff ends up on my desk. Long story short, um, I have so much stuff pertaining to us all over my desk at all times. And like I say, when the most high gears to me, Nina, print this out, laminate it. That's what I do. I'm one of those people that will invest in studying and the bettering of my seed, my print line. Yeah, I have to excuse all the noise. I have to separate some of the stuff on my desk. This pile so high. I have the actual laminating pouches still up here from the last time I laminated something, which was a long time ago. So, let's get into this. Um, I am in William Tinsdale's Bible. I was working. I plan on going back to work. We'll see. Um, I have to pick up some hours later on tonight. My set in a little light. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This new rap lingo. I'm trying to keep up. But yeah, I'm trying to get that back. <laughs> get it back, get it back. So at this time to teach, I have to clean. As I stated, a lot of stuff on my desk for no reason. So here we are. Let's go. Um, Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my YouTube family. I just got all this stuff from my reading. I just don't understand. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. I made the creator be with me. Okay. Um. I'm reading all this shit here. I'm coming out. Be patient with me. I have been pulling orders and. Pull the order, I have to pull out the labels and all this stuff. And it's like literally just sitting on my desk for no reason. I want to just clean, clear my space right quick. Not all of it, but okay. Just enough to give me time to bring this up. And this is what I was learning last night. And it took me somewhere else. So we're in chapter 3 in the book of Genesis. I'm looking for when Seth came into the picture. Y'all bear with me. Okay, here we go. So I am in. Am I out of fact? Let me be fancy. Um, great. See, this is why another reason, <laughs> I'm not to complain, y'all, but another reason um, I don't like to share, don't be mad, it's because now I have to pull out all these tools and stuff that I have, because if not, the sharing won't go smoothly, but for y'all, anything, I'm going to pull up this bottle so y'all can see it, okay. Oh, it doesn't look like I'm clocking back in, so let's just get out of here. Let's open this up. Just open. Okay. Okay. 
now y'all um let's get out of there let's stop faking like we're gonna clock back in get out of there okay this will be page Let me see. Cut it out. Is it gonna go? That's what happened when I'm touching stuff out of my business. Because it's not going to go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is chapter five. Um, this is the book of the generations of man in the day when crea when God created man and made him after the multitude. Of God. Male or female may he and see this is why it's important to read our language. This looks like the it's not the we didn't use um vowel vowels and then you have to break everything down. Anyway, um and called their names men in the day when they were created and when Adam was a hundred and thirty years old, he begot a son after his likeness. Now the first two, and again, thank you to Miss Joyce. I never, I would, if you missed this, and when Adam was a hundred and thirty years old, he begot a son after his likeness. For this little detail to be here, that means the twins weren't. In his likeness, or the first two, I don't know if the twins could be wrong, I think so. Um, and family two, and called his name Seth. Again, he still dropped H, but S H, that's us, it would be Seth. And the days of Adam after he begot Seth were 800 years and begot sons and daughters in all the days of Adam which he lived were okay okay so that's the story that I never got that that the first sons that were born weren't um after his likeness being that Adawa Ama which on chapter that was chapter 11 Ottawa, Ama, and this is an Israel's Redemption book. Um, they lost their color. And the child we were reading said that they used to weep, weeping over Tamas, and it, they were weeping because they lost their color and were cut off. But they shouldn't have been weeping because their act, which was being deceived by the fallen angel, um, caused them to lose their color. So, the first kids weren't in his likeness, which was originally, you know, of dark skin. They were born without that color. And then he finally had Seth, which was melanated. Seth was melanated. Okay, so, um, the remnant. 
she in her Bible said um something about oh okay it said I know this is all over the place. If you get it, it's for you. Um, and let me just look for it in my pages. So, chapter three. It was something that we found that it said that QEC. QEC. So I told the remnant to drop the E, or it might have been Q U E. Let me, let me check this book. It might, when you drop the E, um, it had something to do with the people of Mount Seir. We know that I, Y R, uh, ear. In our language, means white or angel. So the people of Seir, I just typed it in and brought this up. Who are the descendants of Esau? The study of Esau's history and prophecies concerning his descendants helped to unveil the answers. Okay, the answers. Too many problems in the world today can bring a new perspective on war, marriage establishment of hate laws, crimes, and more. The reader will be able to see the relationship between what is presented and the real world today. Another thing that um, Israel's Redemption talks about in her book is being able to know who these people are. And this is a free ebook. Um, somebody studying. This is the website. Um, I just Google people of Seer um, blogspot.com. That's that's the website. And I always say I'm attached to them, but y'all just have to click this stuff in because I forget, I upload it and forget to go back to put the website. And so many have not considered the question who are the descendants of Esau? The answer to this question may be given, may give us much to consider the study of Esau's history and the prophecies concerning him and his descendants will help you to unveil the answers to many problems in the world around us today and, you, and can bring us a new perspective on war, secret political combinations, anti-Semitism, economic control, world government, interracial marriages, the establishment of hate laws, and much, much, and much more. Though we would not specifically delve into any of these subjects deeply, this study should shed enough light on these subjects However, that the informed reader will be able to see the relationship between what is presented to him and what is happening in the world. Um, Y'all will have to read this. I want to go on ahead down here. The people of Mount Seir, long ago and far away. Rebecca, the wife of the patriarch Isaac. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at words and trying to see it in our language. Um, was told by God that she would give birth to two nations. The Lord, the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. The Bible story tells us the birth of these twins. Esau and Jacob would have the most profound impact on future events of the world, and that Esau would have a destiny totally separate and unique from that of his twin brother Jacob, their fate being as diverse as their character. Esau was the firstborn of Isaac and Rebekah, thus being heir to the birthright coming through the racial lineage of Adam and Seth to Noah and Shem and to Abraham and Isaac. Now pay attention to these names. Adam and Seth were melanated. Noah ended up being an albinoid. Shem, you know, um, I'm taking because of the pattern that I see here. Shem was melanated. S H. And to Abraham and Isaac. And I was trying to see, am I pronouncing this right? And I know I'm not. Um, 
Give me a minute. Let me, because I'm trying to get familiar with saying it the right way. I can just say Isaac and continue to use our oppressor's tongue, but that um, defeats the purpose of trying to learn the language if you're not going to start integrating. Okay. Okay, so Rakam Rakam Aya Shak Aya Shak Isaac is a Yashak. Okay. Um, let me look at uh, a yeah. Yashak. Yashak. You have to remember that I is the Y sound in our language. Okay. So, therefore, Esau was an Adamite. A Shemite and in Hebrew he was not an Israelite for his brother Jacob was later called Israel making only Jacob's descendants Israelites Esau was a Hebrew for Abraham was the first Hebrew and all of Abraham's descendants can be considered Hebrews even though even those of his son Ishmael who is considered the father father of our modern-day Arabs Esau or the people of Esau grew up hating the Israelites, which are the descendants of Jacob. The Latter day Saints should know that all of Israel were Christian, though they didn't act like it most of the time. The Book of Mormon points to that fact. The struggle that started in the womb of Rebecca probably from before conception. Continues down through history until the present day Esau and his people are traditionally anti-Israel therefore anti-Christian their behavior and attitude towards Christians point to the fact Esau father of Edom many have not considered the question who are the descendants of Esau the answer to this question may give us much to consider the study of Esau's history and prophecies concerning him and his descendants will help to unveil the answers to many problems in the world around us today and can bring us to a new perspective on war secret pillage. okay we read that <laughs> now the Bible informs us that Esau despised his birthright when he sold it to Jacob he also despised his race by marrying strange women he married the daughters of the Canaanites, Ishmaelites, Hittites, Hivites, and Horites. These interracial marriages, which our language, our religion, no mixing. These interracial marriages were a grief of mine to Isaac and Rebekah. The descendants of Esau became known as Edom, and the land of Esau's descendants was in Mount Seir. They were Edomites and considered the people of Mount Seir. And Esau took his wives and his sons, daughters, and all the persons in his house, his cattle, and all his beasts, and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than they might dwell together, and the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. <laughs> Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. Um, and Mount Seir is the original name of the mountain range extending along the east side of the valley of Araba, from the northern tip of the Gulf of Elah, or what we now consider the Gulf of Aqaba, to the southern tip of the Dead Sea. Um, This is a map. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Um, oh, they didn't open them up. Well, you know, come on. It's funny, I can't blow these up. Yeah, I go to the website and look at this stuff. Um, that's funny. Let's see. Open link in a new tab. Oh, you gotta do all this special stuff to see it. Okay. This is the map showing the extent of the Israel Kingdom at the time of David's death, BC and the location, the land of Edom which David had conquered. Okay. Um Roman Catholics, Greek Catholics, Jews, Mohammedans, Mohammedans, and pagans. So these were little areas of religion. And then everybody else who didn't want this so called religion, they were called pagans. Map showing the distribution of religious religions in Europe in the 10th century AD, indicating the extent of the Jews as Khazars. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I don't have to go over and read the article. Um, I was here to read it to y'all. It's just a good bit of information. What stuck out to me was the physical characteristics. Just so you know who these people are. And I don't even know if your Bible um will show you what we went over. I just told um remnant. The remnant that I was going to share, but now that I'm sharing, I'm like, they don't even, um, the Jews bear the features of the races Esau intimates with. So they sometimes have a nose that humps over. See this? Hump, standing as yes, the eyes or over here. Yeah, so I'm um, intermixing. Oh, what just happened? Inter well, I'm so sorry. That's why um some of this stuff just stay in my head, but um. I just was trying to show y'all how it was pointing out that the first children Adam had were not melanated. Um, along the way, I ended up reading that article I just put up. And the reason why it's exciting to me is because I'm trying to get a clear understanding of who was who. Who was who?